two conspiracy theories, 0500 99 693. Should we take any notice of them, or are they only uh, ever speculative and, and even dangerous occasionally? Mike Ruddin is series producer of The Conspiracy Files. Hello, Mike. Hi. Good evening to you. Uh, Neil Denny is producer and presenter of a radio show called Little Atoms on a station in London called Residence FM, and uh, they have a, th a little item on there where they debunk conspiracy theories. Hello, Neil. Good evening, Richard. Good evening to you. And Alex Jones joins us from Texas, from where his nationally syndicated radio show reaches millions. He's currently making a film about JFK and he's been described in the past as the world's leading conspiracy theorist. Alex, hello to you. Hello. Uh, if I can, before I get ganged up on by all five people, I would like to just make a statement. Three years ago I was called a conspiracy theorist because I had had uh, officers who were on board the ships from the Gulf of Tonkin to start Vietnam, uh, admitting that it was staged. It has now been completely declassified that the staged event got us into Vietnam, and the LBJ presidential tapes have been released with him staging it on the phone with the Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara. That is not a conspiracy theory, it's a fact. I so have wait, so just, just in case, for those that have been a little bit left behind, I'm, 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 I know a degree about McNamara and LBJ, but what was that incident that was staged? The Gulf of Tonkin and 1964, a staged attack on U.S. ships to blame it on the North Vietnamese and start the war. There are over 200 declassified examples of the U.S. government staging terror attacks and blaming it on their political enemies to start wars. We have declassified documents like Operation Northwoods, covered by Baltimore Sun, Associated Press, uh, ABC News, headline on ABC News, U.S. government planned to bomb U.S. cities, terrorize U.S. cities as pretext for war with Cuba. So people saying it's a conspiracy theory, government lies all the time. They've staged terror attacks and provocateur more often. That is funding idiot terrorists that don't even know what they're part of. They open the doors for them to carry out attacks to take our freedoms. That's what all of this is about. And Poplar Mechanics and others have tried to debunk, but we've debunked them. They claim that NORAD never, in the year before 9-11, intercepted any planes, but we have their own documents right, saying Alex. they did it hundreds of times and Reuters oh. saying hundreds of times. Alex, all right, you're running away with yourself a bit. Let's just deal with one thing at a time. I mean, Mike, Mike Rudin, that's astonishing stuff there that uh, uh, Alex was saying. Do you believe all that? Yes, it is. I mean, uh, well... The, the Do you believe the American government staged attack and attack on an American uh, ship uh, as a pretext to getting uh, USS uh, Liberty now declassified on USS well, no, I mean the Gulf, Gulf of Tonkin is an interest is a good example of of, of, of something where some, something un, something oh. wrong happened and uh, and, and also plans. Alex Alex hang on a sec and also there's, there's other cases Watergate as a rank contra where plans. things actually happen and what's do you what, believe that USS Liberty one well oh that's now been completely declassified uh, right, Alex, uh, Alex, uh, Alex we've heard a lot from yeah. you wait there yeah, no, no, the, the, the Gulf of Tonkin is, 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 is an example where 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 something untoward happened yes yeah, it is Ameri yeah. the American yeah. government fakes an attack on the USS but the, Liberty but the other things he mentioned uh, aren't no, but, true. Sorry, but that's, 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 that happened. Hmm? Well, look at look at the, the other things that you mentioned. Operation Northwoods, which is always used as a pretext for saying... There's a green light operational plan. Frontlines reported that in the U.S. Uh, N Northwoods, who are you talking about? Operation, which is basically... He's going to claim he's going to claim that it was just a theoretical plan, but no, it was an operational... Right. It was never right. put right. into Everybody place. stop. You're all talking, you've got level <laughs> of knowledge about conspiracy theories that almost nobody else has. I don't know what the hell anyone is talking about. All right, but what I, this USS Liberty thing, which Alex, please wait. This Okay, we, we'll come back to Alex in a bit. Uh, Neil Denny, uh, I was talking about that USS Liberty thing, which I'd never heard of before. Incredible conspiracy theory, uh, and that was done as a pretext to get America involved in the Vietnam War. Was it to get them to to, to get to, to go bomb Vietnam? Um, that's incredible. That actually happened. It's a bit before my time. That one. That so, happened. You did bomb conspiracy theories. Do you believe it? But I, d I just want to bring up a couple of things that Mike mentioned. Um, Watergate, for instance, and the, and the Iran-Contra thing, and these are things that did happen, but what's interesting about these is they were found out, they were discovered. Journalists, investigative journalists, undercovered these things, they were revealed, people were punished. This isn't happening with all these other conspiracy theories. This is not happening with 9-11. Why are journalists not finding out about the 9-11 conspiracy? I'd like to counter that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> Alex. Go ahead. Alex. <laughs> Just briefly, and I'll behave myself, but I am being ganged up on here, so I want 50-50 time. Please, no, you're not. I just want to be fair. Fair fight. <laughs> I'll take on all five of you, but just, just, just fair fight. Look, just fair fight. Okay, no one did get in trouble. It was declassified on the 40th anniversary by the National Security Agency. I was giving you two separate events. 
there were two destroyers that had attacks staged that weren't real. They announced they'd been attacked with the Gulf of Tonkin. Then in 67, the U.S. and Israel tried to sink the USS Liberty to blame it on Egypt and start a war, and that has now been declassified. Right. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm sorry for getting a bit behind on this, but nonetheless... Yeah, there's so many staged events, I know it's hard to cover them all. Well, here's what's interesting, uh, Neil Denny, and you're not a big believer in conspiracy theories, and there are those people that kind of say, I don't believe in any. If the U.S. government really is capable of staging those attacks on its own destroyers, kind of makes you think they must be capable of anything. I mean, that's incredible. Well, this is true, but it's obviously on a much smaller scale. Than smaller scale, like they staged a fake attack on their own okay. destroyer. I mean, it, 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 well, the question is what exactly they did, and as, as with most things, it's a distortion of information and how things are described rather than actually staging do, attacks do, do you, and killing people. Do you believe, That's yes or no, what, that they have uh, staged events in the US government to mislead their own public? Do you believe that has happened? That governments do mislead occasionally. That what what Sir Alex well, was saying is that the, the, governments the, the, the lie all the time, and this is that's, that's the sort of is the big issue here. That yeah, of course, this, yes, this misleading, governments which, which can do. be a bit of spin, can be uh, yeah. spinning the latest crime distort, statistics, they and tend to occasionally it, distort things. But yeah. we're talking about a bit of theatre here. Mm. Well, they didn't. They, you know, the, there's not. You don't find very hardly any examples where where the, you know they stage things and kill people. That doesn't. That's what Alex is suggesting does happen. Is what he's suggesting happened at Gulf of Tonkin isn't what happened, and it's not what happened in in no no. Evidence has been proven as uh, things like 9/11 okay, that they've I'm actually used a sort of the, what he calls a false flag operation to kill people. Okay, we, so he's we, taking it a step beyond. It's one thing to say people have distorted information, sp spun things, lied at times, but spun things. But okay. it's another step. I don't want to get too step. hung up on the on the Gulf of Tonkin and yeah. <laughs> I don't really know anything about them until three minutes. Ago. <laughs> but nonetheless, even though nobody may have died, they one way or another faked this attack. The, the, this happened. The government did that. They they created the. You mean you 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 you're sort of to me you're merging something extraordinarily deceitful with a bit of Alistair Campbell type spin. I mean these are these are different things we're no. talking about. Well, I, the things I know in detail about sort of so the subjects I've looked at. 9-11 in particular. I don't know the Gulf of Tonkin in, in detail, so I, forgive me on that. Well, well, well Alex, I'm sure knows it in intricate detail, but I don't. But, but do you uh, accept my point that if, if, if a government, if the American government can stage something like that, then then uh, all sorts... Uh, well, it depends what exactly... Is. Guys, I, I don't know. I haven't looked into it in, ex in, in real detail, so I don't know exactly the, the allegation is guys. in that case. I know that the, there was distortion of information. Okay. How far it went, I don't know. And, I, you know, I think you need uh, to look... Alex, Alex, I don't want you to butt in. I'll just come back when I invite you, and I'm inviting you now, Alex Jones. Okay, I just timed it. They just had two and a half minutes. I just want a minute. You guys can double team. Just give me a minute. Go on. The USS Liberty, 34 sailors died. It's the most highly decorated ship in U.S. history, so they did kill people. Now, if I could only please warn you and tell you that it's also declassified that the U.S. government staged terror attacks in Iran in 1953, blamed it on the government, a reverse false flag, and then removed the elected leader, Mohammed Mosaddegh. Before he died, the CIA section chief, Kermit Roosevelt, went on NPR, admitted it all, and wrote a best-selling book that they killed hundreds with British intelligence and blamed it on them. So to say that they're not killing people is a fraud. Hitler firebombed his own Reichstag. That's now been declassified just two months ago. People always knew it. Hitler attacked his own radio station at Gliwitz to attack Poland, claiming Poland had attacked Germany. False flag is the favorite tool of empires, and quite frankly, the British and the French in their scores of wars were constantly doing it, and if you read British naval history that I'm somewhat of a buff on, by the way, it's very interesting, you will find that it was constantly done by both sides. This is a military tool of it's the... Quite a, it's quite a jump, Alex, isn't it? Uh, it's Mike here again. I mean, just to, to, to jump from what Hitler did to what an elected uh, government in, in America does. I mean, You're it's right, it is a jump. It's an example of why they do this. But but let me just add this point. But no, but hang on, Alex. Let me defend God. you here. It might be a jump, but in a way, it makes it more staggering. And the, America has done some, some some terrible things. And we, you know, if that's take Vietnam and the, the My Lai massacre, where they uh, murdered uh, innocent people in that. And then punish the people that perpetrate. Yeah, they did. But it's one of those things that never becomes as big a scandal as uh, it's all. That's a key point. Is, that can got... just add something to that. Exactly. We now have the Bush order, the executive order, over the memos from John Yu and Alberto Gonzalez, the Attorney General and his minion, ordering the military who refused to torture people to do it, and then when they got caught, Bush had the people he ordered 
prosecuted, and, and let me just add something that's closer to home. The BBC, the Times of London, the Sunday Times, scores of publications reported, not the Downing Street memo, the White House memo, where Blair uh, is meeting with Bush, and Bush says, and this has been declassified, and, and, and not declassified, it was leaked, and, and Bush said, yes, it's real, Blair said it's real, and we're going to prosecute whoever released it, but, but Blair said no. Bush said, let's paint a U.S. plane, uh, have it be a drone, fly it low, paint it up as a U.N., hoping some of Saddam's people shoot it down, then we can say that Saddam shot down a uh, U.N. aircraft, and then Tony Blair said, no, we're not going to be part of that, and then British intelligence did leak that. Amazing. So, so, Alex, so sorry to interrupt there. Mike, Mike Rudin, is that, I mean, I'm having to take Alex at face value here, and uh, these are stuff I just don't know about. Is, it, is, that, is that true? Do you know that's true, that, that that conversation happened, that Bush proposed that as an idea?